round two. The fate of any letters and parcels you've posted in the last 24 hours is hanging in the balance at the moment as the UK waits to find out the outcome of a CWU meeting about whether to go on strike. The Postal Workers Union has been in talks with Royal Mail Management for the past couple of days. Those discussions have been chaired by this man, Brendan Barber, the General Secretary of the TUC. He was involved in drawing up the deal which ended the last national postal strike two years ago. At the moment, the CWU says it's still planning to go to court to stop the Royal Mail using agency staff to clear the backlog of posts caused by the strike last week. But Royal Mail's website indicates the tension that's building between the strikers and any staff crossing the picket lines. It advises staff who do want to work that the company can arrange for them to be escorted in and says they don't have to wear uniform. One chat room for postmen is run by this man who wants to stay anonymous. The emotions are high on the site because you've got some of the strike breakers coming on, um, boasting that, they, that, that they've worked, um, boasting that, um, that they're actually coming in on overtime and earning extra money. Last week, strikers suspected that plane vans were ferrying some posties to work, breaking the strike. Confirmation of those kind of tactics could inflame matters at this crucial stage.